So today, before you start a little reading, actually, I would love to read you a book. To me, it's like poetry. So I would love for you to listen to it. Actually, I want you to listen to it first. I'm going to read it. And then I'm going to have you look at the illustrations. It's just uh, amazing. The name of the book is called You Matter. And it's like a piece of poetry that we all need right now. Okay, so that's number one. But before you do, I would love for you to get out, get outside if you can or inside and stretch, 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 stretch. Take the other opposite arm, opposite leg, stretch. Maybe go forward, stretch, woo, almost. <laughs> stretch. I'm not doing very well. I'm gonna do that again. Mm, opposite arm, opposite leg. That was hard for me today. Oh. And then go backward. This one backward. Good. And then if you can, run around. Run around. Run around. Maybe do a little backward skipping. Frontward skipping. Sideways to the left. Sideways to the right. And then maybe a little karaoke. Shaka kong, shaka kong, shaka kong, shaka. Shaka kong, shaka shaka shaka. shaka. All right. Whew. We are ready. So let's read this amazing book. Here we go. Okay, so this is the story that I'm going to read to you. You Matter by Christian Robinson. And I know I can already hear it. I can hear you say, that is like a baby book. That's a kid, a little kid's book. But really, this is a book actually that they recently read um, at an adult gathering. It was, a, it was for poetry, actually. And um, the words are profound. They have these hidden meanings behind it, you could say. So what I need you to do is I'm going to have you just listen to the book first. And then I'm going to show you the illustrations. The illustrations are actually beautiful and also have these little hidden stories within it. All right, so here we go. All right, so go ahead and find a comfy place. And if you want to, you can close your eyes to listen to the story. Here we go. You matter. The small stuff, too small to see. Those who swim with the tide and those who don't. The first to go and the last. You matter. When everyone thinks you're a pest. When something is just out of reach. When everyone is too busy to help. You matter. If you fall down, if you have to start all over again, even if you are really gassy, <laughs> you matter. I bet you weren't expecting that. Sometimes home is far away. Sometimes someone you love says goodbye. Sometimes you feel lost and alone. But you matter. Old and young, the small stuff too small to see, you All matter. All right, now open your eyes, and here we go on the front cover, You Matter by Christian Robinson. The small stuff too small to see, those who swim with the tide, and those who don't. The first to go and the last, you matter. When everyone thinks you're a pest, when something is just out of reach, when everyone is too busy to help, you matter. If you fall down, see, I was thinking that was gonna be a person, so I was really surprised when I saw a meteoroid. If you have to start all over again, even if you are really gassy, you matter. Isn't that a fabulous sun? Oh, that gassy sun. Sometimes home is far away. Sometimes someone you love says goodbye. Sometimes you feel lost and alone, but you matter. Can you see who's lost in this photo? I love this photo. And then remember it for the next one. Old and young. 
the small stuff too small to see. You matter. Isn't that a great perspective? That window from the airplane. And then the end papers coming up. Oh, these are great. And there's that aerial view. And if you remember the beginning of the book, it had that great parachute. And I'm telling you, when Mrs. Butler brings that parachute out, oh, is that fun. I think this book, You Matter, is a hidden treasure. I love it because it doesn't have conventional rhythm. It doesn't have that iambic pentameter where you hear the stressed syllable and the unstressed, so unstressed, like my mother ate an apple and my father ate a pear. Remember that? Where we talked about a stressed and unstressed syllable and then one measures a foot. Remember how we talked about how poems measure in feet? But this one has... It's not a conventional rhythm, but it also has repetition. I think it's a hidden treasure, and I'm glad I could share it with you today. Now it's your turn to spend a little time and write your own You Matter. Okay, after listening to that book and looking at the really great illustrations, um, I want you to take a little time to write about someone that matters to you. Um, so two things that you can do. Number one, you can cut these papers up and put you matter on it and put it on everybody's dinner chair. Also, I want you to take a little time and write a little note to someone who does matter. You matter. And then say why. You watch out for me. And you know what? I would like it if you kind of make it in the style that Christian Robinson did, where he had sentences and they were kind of short and sweet and to the point. You watch out for me during good times and bad, during good times and bad. And don't worry, you can either do cursive, as you can see, I'm doing, I'm doing cursive and printing. It's crazy. During good times and bad. Today. Always. And you can then continue to write, but today's goal is going to be, you're going to put a little bit of meter in it. You're going to put a little bit of flow and this is a tough thing so if you need to listen to the story again um and listen to the words they're, it's incredible it, you know it's amazing some, some people think it's just easy to put a book like that together he not only did the illustrations but he just put those beautiful words down and together it just made for such an amazing book so okay aha one thing i forgot to mention that as you write your own piece, it's good to, again, remember that part of that poetic flow that Christian Robinson used is he repeated the phrase, you matter. So what you can do is write a few sentences and then write, you matter. Write a few more sentences and then write, you matter. You will know when you matter fits. There's just a feel you'll get. And so I can't wait to see what y'all write. And so hang on to those pieces because when we do get to meet together, I really can't wait to see what all of you create. All right, take care and you matter.